What's going on guys, Tom Davis here. Uh, we are about to get a new uh, German Shepherd in. He's reactive, he was born on a farm for, from what I take it and he was kind of like left to roam. And So he has zero structure, he's reactive to people, he's reactive to other dogs, especially when the owners are around um, and he's also really, really bad on the leash. So chances are when he comes in, he's probably not gonna be as reactive as uh, the owners typically see because this is a very chill environment even though there's dogs and people. Um, but at the very least, I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to take a dog that has zero structure, zero leash pressure, no communication, communication, no engagement. This dog literally has nothing and I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to build. Um, so she's about to walk in and we're going to get this party started pretty much from start to finish. All right, you. you're welcome. Safe trip home. Thank you, thank you. Good boy. Love you. <laughs> okay, all right, Chris, Chris. He's not gonna be reactive with us, uh, very typical for dogs who are reactive with humans. A lot of that is caused with the relationship with their owner. They become reactive, protective, so on and so forth. So the first thing we're gonna do is just put on a little plastic pinch collar here. Good boy because it's gonna give us a lot more control. As you guys know, harnesses are great for things like hiking, um, letting your dog just be a dog and tracking and whatever with, with not a lot of control. This dog obviously needs control and needs a, a job. As you can see my goal right now is going to be to get his attention, to get his engagement. He's very still engaged with the owner. Um, if you can see, he's looking directly outside to try to leave me, which I don't blame him because he doesn't know me. This is all new for him. So what I need to do is build confidence between him and I and get him more confident with me. Come, whoop, good boy. Good job, Grizzly. And I'm just gonna stand here and give him pressure every time he tries to pull away from me. So again, with a dog like this, he's He's insecure because he doesn't have confidence. He doesn't have confidence because he doesn't have structure. He doesn't have structure simply because it's never given to him. So I'm gonna start with basic threshold stuff. I'm not, I'm not necessarily gonna put him into a sit because I don't know what he knows and what he doesn't know. So I have to be conscious and empathetic towards that. But immediately what I wanna do with this dog is tell him that there are rules, there are regulations, there's things he's gotta do in order to get things that he wants. First thing I'm gonna do is just ask him to basically stay before we exit the building. There's two thresholds in our front room. So there's the gate, and then there's the door. So I'm gonna expect him not to sit, but to stay before I release him through on a verbal cue for me. No. Ah, good. Nope. Good. So we got the, we got the first step okay, and the second step he's like, all right, I'm out of here. So I just have to teach him to pay attention to me. So I'm gonna turn with my body. I'm gonna turn into him. I'm gonna pull him back around. Good. Good, good boy. So I'm just giving him structure. And in this case, structure is implying that he has to pay attention to me. I'm not asking him, to, again, I think sometimes people get a little bit too far when they're like, okay, now sit and do all this stuff. He doesn't know anything, like literally nothing. So I'm just gonna make sure that like right now he's doing absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy with his progress right now. He's paying attention to me, he's not pulling. He's waiting for my cue. I'm gonna to continue to do that right out the door. That's gonna set, set us up for success. I'm gonna give him a break. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna come back inside and we're gonna take it a step further. Good. Good. Nope. So see right there, guys? He, as soon as I go for the door, he immediately wants to head out. I have to stop him from doing that. He has to learn that I'm in control here. So here we go, this is a test. So on the micro guys, he may learn stay when we mark it in the future. The macro, the bigger picture, for the first time in his life, this dog is taking direction that's gonna allow him to be a more confident, less stressful, less anxiety driven dog for the first time just with this small exercise right here. So going for the door, catching him, catching him. Nope. So there, like now I'm gonna bring him back out so now what I'm gonna start doing, guys, I think it's gonna be, I think he's intelligent, so it's gonna think it's gonna be more fair for him to start adding uh, verbal markers. So I'm just gonna say, ah, ah, 
to, to give him some sort of like warning before he gets corrected to try to set him up for more success. Come here, buddy. I'll show you guys exactly how to do that here. Ah, yes, buddy, good boy. You guys saw that, that's what I was looking for. That little slow motion walk engaged with me for the first time. That was beautiful. Good boy. Good job, okay, come here, come here. Good job, buddy, good job, good job. Ah, good. Heel. Good man, ah, ah. No. Ah. Ah, ah. Getting better. Good, yes, good boy. Break, good job. So that's exactly what I was looking for, guys, is he looked right up into my eyes, kind of asked for permission, but more importantly, looked at somebody for some sort of guidance for the first time in his life. That's good. I'm gonna keep doing this and uh, hopefully we continue to get better as we progress. One thing I wanna point out, guys, is a lot of people ask me a lot about like harnesses and collars and why this little plastic pinch is successful. When you're, when you get a dog, this dog is, she said about a hundred pounds. So when you get a dog this big, that is trying to make decisions f based off of physicality, meaning like the dog's like, I'm gonna push through this. And I mean, this dog's owner is smaller than me uh, and he's really strong for me. And so like him to pull all the time is gonna be hard to control. And she even said that the harness is the only thing that she can actually hold him on. Now, that, there's a big difference between actually being able to hold on to your dog for dear life and actually being able to control your dog. So as you guys progress, you'll see when the owner came in and even me, he was pulling me around quite a bit. And with the harness, this gives absolutely zero control over the dog's behavior. It doesn't modify dog's behavior because it doesn't allow you to add any type of correction or punishment for the dog if they decide to say, I'm pulling and that's what I'm doing. So this kind of, the, the harness enables dogs and their ability to pull. Like I said before, the harness is good if you're gonna bring your dog for a swim, a hike, and you just don't care about how they act on a leash. So what this plastic pinch collar does, eee, tried. So anyway, so this plastic pinch comes up together and it corrects the dog um, in unity and gives the dog a safer correction instead of putting on their flat collar, uh, choking them out on their throat, or putting a harness on them and letting them make all these really bad decisions. So with him, because he thinks he's gonna take the steering wheel and guide himself through life, if I let him make all these decisions, hi buddy, hi, thank you. If I, if I let him make all these decisions, it's gonna create more of a problem for him. So we have a dog that really doesn't know the difference between anything. I mean, just completely just living a life of uh, instability and anxiety and not knowing what direction to go through. Most ah. Good. I'm going to wait for him to look at me. Good man. Yes. Good break. Good job. So again, guys, that was not necessarily like, can I do this or that? It was just engagement. He's just looking for direction. That's what I'm looking for. That was perfect. I'm do this a couple more times. So that correction, guys, that was perfect. Quick and fast. Doesn't hurt the dog, it just gets his attention. Stay. Good man. Good. Good stay. Good. Come here. Yes, good boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, a good boy. Just a good boy. Boy. Good job. Ah, ah. Good. Come on. Ah. Good. Checking him with my verbal. Ah. Stay. Nice job, buddy. So, you guys, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm very happy where we've made this progress in the last 15, 20 minutes. He's doing really good. So we took a dog in the beginning, as you guys saw, with all of this anxiety and inability to check in with a human being that actually has control. And we've taken it to where you just saw, where I'm able to, like, and the thing is, guys, is I'm not trying to say, like, this dog, this dog is awfully strained. I can, not at all, I'm just showing you that for the first time in this dog's life, he's getting structure, he's listening to somebody. I'm not using the leash, I'm walking and I'm just giving him verbal checks of like, hey man, hey man, pay attention, pay attention, remember, remember, and he's like, okay, God, God. So he's thinking. So a couple more things that we're gonna do guys after our little walk um, is we're gonna show you guys how to develop just very basic things 
to reestablish a better relationship with not only a dog that's anxious and secure like he was when he came in with lack of structure, but with any dog. So if your dog's at home or if it's your client's dogs, if you're a trainer, I'm gonna show you how to just establish a better relationship with the dog with just using your body like I did with him. Here's a good boy. So I'm gonna bring him for a walk and then yes we are. And then we're gonna start that process next. All right guys, so now that we went for a little quick stroll, it's an absolutely gorgeous day out today in upstate New York. So uh, we went for a little stroll, he did his business. I'm gonna switch him back over to his regular leash. And what I wanna do guys, I wanna do a giveaway. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, we have some, we have some new No Bad Dog face masks. I wanna give away three No Bad Dogs face masks to you guys. All you have to do is letter by letter in the comments below, leave your dog's name. Ready, set, go. So the first thing we're gonna do besides the leash pressure we did inside with thresholds is the place command, which is basically a targeted threshold of go there until I say otherwise. So in place. Yes, good place. Good, a ah, little pressure back on. Good job. He's gonna naturally go into a sit. Good sit, buddy. Little bit of free shaping kind of. <laughs> Again, as you guys can see, I'm just telling him what he can and can't do. You can tell he's used to just saying like, okay, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. He's doing really, really good. But like I said, guys, I just wanna be able to control almost everything that this dog makes decisions on. Good. Good boy. Very good. Very good job. Good stay, buddy. Good job. You could tell by his body, he's a little uncomfortable, but it's so beautiful that he's listening to me. Again, this dog had zero obedience before he walked through this door half an hour ago. And, and again, guys, I don't want you to think that he knows all of these things well yet. The point is, is he's starting to intake and sponge up some of this information. And at the end of the day, he's, begin, he's gonna become more confident. Okay, break. Good boy, good job. Good job. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. Awesome job from our new board and train grizzly bear. Really happy with this progress. Our goal is to continue to, again, this is his first session, so he's doing really good. Our goal is to continue to make him more confident, expose him to new things, give him the exercise and the structure that he needs to be happier. You can tell from when he came in to where he's at now. Um, he's still trying to figure out where the heck he is, but he's not constantly trying to run away from me. He's not constantly trying to figure out where his mom is and for that codependency and a very unhealthy relationship with his owner. He's doing a lot better and I'm really happy with this progression. Make sure you guys like this video. And of course we got some new No Bad Dog merch and we got new t-shirts, we got new hoodies, we got stickers, we got face masks and I'm giving three face masks away uh, during this video. So don't forget to enter to win for that. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more stuff like this. I appreciate you guys. Oh, and also follow us on Instagram. I'll leave the handles below and you guys can see the behind the scenes of all the progression we do with all of the dogs here at the facility. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.